what's up now this rose go back again with another video now check this out so the other day i made a video about bay area gas prices that came up in the video and this is saying bay area gas prices soar now within those two days people i was saying they was it was a 589 it was 599 and then the highest was six dollars and two cents now within two days this gas then went to 655 675 and 695 Tell me that ain't crazy. Now this is saying Spritzker. Illinois has spent $328 million on helping Chicago migrant crisis. Governor J.B. Spritzker said the state of Illinois has spent $328 million to help manage Chicago's migrant crisis. And he's calling on the federal government to pitch in. Good luck with that, because the damn government's talking about shutting down. Now, look at this big-ass cell tower right here. It's a 5G cell tower on this damn elementary school. 5G cell tower on YN dot elementary school could be activated. And, you know, the parents are really, the parents are really out here mad about that. Because, yeah, we all know the symptoms of 5G, and then, then you got it smack dead on top of a, a, a damn elementary school. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So the parents was trying to fight it, but I think they going to activate it. It says the 5G tower that sits on George Washington Elementary School in Wyandotte has been at the center of controversy for months. Parents and community members have been trying to get it taken off the school. Their efforts haven't been successful, and the tower could be activated as soon as Saturday. That's ridiculous. So the parents ain't got no say-so. So, so I, what I would do, I would take my child out there at school because them children, they going to have all type of complications, health complications, and the workers too. Four million federal employees. Still no deal in the house as government shutdown looms. Look at this. Closed. We're sorry due to the shutdown of the federal government, the Washington, D.C. facility is closed. See, they on that bullshit again, people. A government shutdown appeared all but inevitable as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy dug in Thursday vowing he will not take up Senate legislation designed to keep the federal government fully running despite House Re Republicans struggle to unite around an alternative. Congress is at an, um, I'm sorry, Congress is at an impasse just days before a disruptive federal shutdown that would halt paychecks for many of the federal governments roughly two million employees as well as two million active duty military troops and reservists furlough many of those workers and curtail government services but the house and senate are pursuing different paths to avert those consequences even though time is running out before government funding expires after midnight on saturday so if they ain't got this shit together by the first of next month, man, people gonna have to. Uh, they they they're not gonna be getting paid. They gonna you can still go to work, but you're not gonna be getting paid until you know they, they you know they probably give you some back pay or something. But it's just the principle of you mean tell me I gotta go work for free, and and I don't know when this shutdown is gonna be over. You know it could be a month that you ain't got paid. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. <laughs> That's, going, that's some scary shit right there. So hopefully they get that together. But right as of now, they do not have any type of, you know, they haven't came to an agreement yet. So the people are saying they don't care that we're not getting paid. Jacksonville military families concerned. All right. Hundreds of thousands of service members and civilian workers, including military families in Jacksonville, might not see their next paycheck unless... Congress passes emergency legislation to ensure America's military continues to get paid. This thing, though, it ain't just the military. It's every person with a federal job. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what's up with that, though? And and for them to be taking so long with the decision, it's, you know, it's got people on, you know, pins and needles, so to say. Uh, Roland Martin speaks about Biden mistreatment and deportation of 15,000 Haitians at the Mexican border. So they had, they had the laws out there, the Mexican border people, whatever you want to call it, um, border patrol, right? They had the border patrol out there on horses, 
with long ass whips, people. Listen, and, and you got the Haitians, they coming through the water trying to, you know, with their things just like these other people are, right? But they ain't got no horses out there and whips. Whipping. They are actually whipping these people, making them turn back around. Roland Martin is saying, what about Biden mistreatment and deportation? And he's deporting them back of 15,000 Haitians at the Mexican border. But you mean to tell me, so you'll do black people like that. But you ain't going to do all these Mexicans and shit coming over here. You see what I'm saying? Oh, no, they shit. Air on the bus and everything. Uh-uh, come on, y'all can come. See what they ass trying to do. They trying to replace our ass. That's why people need to wake the fuck up. They are trying to replace you, black people. Now, government, gover, uh, Governor Spritzker expressed concerns about proposed migrant tent camps. Look at this shit. You mean to tell me you will leave from over there? To come live in some shit like this. But see they know for sure. Our government with they dumb ass. Is going to hook them up. But what about them Haitians. Y'all just turned back around. Got whips out there and shit. It was a whole video of, of them on dog on me horses. Whipping these people. Man what the fuck. Now government Spritzker on Thursday expressed reservations about Chicago's plan to set up large tent encampments to house migrants and get them out of police stations. These people still in police stations and shit. But they ain't in the police stations for the right reason. The federal government is just days away from a shutdown that will disrupt many services, squeeze workers and, and royal politics as Republicans in the House fueled by hard right demands force a confrontation over federal spending the government shutdown is nearing this weekend they just it, hey they can't make up their mind time is running out to avoid shutdown why the hell are we having a shutdown but you still can you still can help these migrants that shit don't sound right but you turn it around to black ones ain't that a bitch now we surrender this is saying ukraine surrendering by the thousands New reports show Ukrainian forces are laying down their Western weapons and surrendering by the thousands using an emergency radio frequency. The surrendered forces are being fed and giving medical attention and they're handling over vital troop movement data to Russian forces. This is the end. Um, it's looking like people, them damn Ukrainian soldiers, they are, uh, they tired of fighting shit. Look how long they've been fighting. Look how, look how, uh, Many people have died, and look how much money Ukraine has got from the United States, and they still ain't won. Look at all the weaponry they have got from the United States, and NATO is over there, and they still haven't won. This shit is crazy. They they waking up too, like, man, I'm done with this shit. Breaking, Ukraine surrendering by the thousands, NATO desperate to keep war going. Why do you want to keep the war going, bro? It's looking like Ukraine has lost. Putin has won. They are ushering in a world war. That's what they want. That's what it's looking like. They want a world war. What is so special about taking that other land from Putin? I don't understand that shit. Ukraine is Russia. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and for real, for real, that's their fight. Why are we in their fight? I don't get it. Experts have issued a fresh COVID warning. After a new study found that the risk of deaths was significant, significantly elevated for years. Now they're giving out COVID warnings. According to the CDC's COVID-19 dashboard, just 1.7% of the 324 COVID-19 deaths registered in the week ending August 19th. CDC data shows 99% of recent COVID deaths are not primarily caused by the virus. Well, then I wonder what it's caused by, but, but you got people out here getting, you know, getting the jab, thinking they cool, you know what I'm saying, but they still dying, and it ain't even from the COVID. It's from that damn shot. That's what the hell it's from. COVID experts warns new pandemic is coming and claims millions more will die. COVID expert warns 
New pandemic is coming, people, and claims millions more will die. Now, check this out. Billion dollar bank terminating cash. I'm going to read that again. Billion dollar bank terminating cash transactions in all branches in abrupt shift to digital only era all right so there's no more experiments now ladies and gentlemen with this money we just talking about the money right now there's no more experiments it is really coming to pass you know what i'm saying um now not every bank is doing this right now but this is one of the largest banks that's doing this right now. And they say, no, it's all digital. You see what I'm saying? Billion dollar bank terminating cash transactions in all branches in a, uh, you know, an abrupt shift to digital only era. Will AI in education as we know it? Now, I just was talking about in that other video two days ago when I was talking about the gas soaring in the Bay areas and everything. Um, I was talking about AI technology taking over jobs that humans normally do. Now check this out. Will AI, meaning artificial intelligence, in education as we know it, economists predict schools, teachers could be become obsolete. I believe it. Cause you're gonna you you gonna have man look, this shit is when this shit hit the fan, people. People ain't going to know what hit them. That's why people should have been homeschooling their children any damn way. But it is what it is. Well, you're going to have a, a a damn robot teaching your damn child. All right. Okay. So watch the step. A new robot will police the New York City subway. See what I'm saying? They taking jobs away. You ain't even going to need no police in a minute. Shit. Uh, the KS Anonymous robot is part of a broader push to incorporate emerging technology into the operations of the nation's largest police department now see this is what's gonna happen like if you this thing is is watching you right and if you do something to this thing they're gonna tell you that you just uh you know you just hurt an officer he's that robot is considered an officer just like a dog a, a, a police dog is considered an officer they take that shit serious so all of this shit right here, you know what I'm saying? It could be the you know the facial recognition could actually think you're that person, but it's not really you. And next thing you know, you're trying to get away from it. Next thing you know, you got a whole bunch of troop looking SWAT team people coming up out your ass, uh, 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 coming after you. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's crazy, people. This shit going. This shit is getting crazy. All right. Now, while 60 percent of United States consumers are living paycheck to paycheck. Costco is seeing high demand for sales of one ounce gold bars. And I think they were selling them for like $2,000. Now, what does this tell us about buyers and the state of the economy? Now, I was just telling you about the that billion dollar bank is saying, hey, no more cash. It's going to be digital era for the for, for forever now. Okay. Um, because the dollar is, see, people keep thinking that dollar is going to be forever existing. It's not. It's They already told us the motherfucker ain't worth shit. They just got to have plans in place to completely replace the damn dollar. Like, it's some people, it's some places where some businesses are right now today saying, you know, we really don't deal with cash. But if you got cash, you better have it the exact amount because we don't have any change. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. So that's what they saying. They talking to the people that's living paycheck to paycheck, and they and they're telling you. While sixty percent of United States consumers are living paycheck to paycheck, Costco, even Costco, is seeing high demand for sales of one ounce gold bars. They can't even keep it on the shelf either, people. Uh, now what? Now what does this tell us about buyers and the state of the economy? That is fucked up. Uh, yeah. The dollar is uh losing its value. Migrant students attacked after school in Rogers Park. Now, look what's going on. These damn migrants, even the children don't want this shit. Recent video shows a chaotic scene, what appears to be Chicago minors and, ad and adults attacking a group of migrants in Rogers Park Wednesday afternoon. All right. And then you got this Chicago migrant shelter broken into by person with gun. 
armed intruder breaks into migrant center in Chicago. They tired of this shit. Chicago police are investigating after someone broke into a migrant shelter in Gage Park with a gun. Nationwide, all device emergency alerts set to scare us all very soon. All right. FEMA schedules a test for cell phones to receive an emergency alert in October. Uh, yeah, this will be October 4th, people. This fall, every consumer cell phone will be a part of a nationwide emergency alert test. So everybody in the world is going to get this alert test on their cell phone, uh, October 4th. Okay. The federal, there we go right there. The federal emergency management agency, which is FEMA and the federal communications commission, which is FCC announced that the Organizations have scheduled a nationwide test of their emergency alert system, EAS, and wireless emergency alerts, WEA, at approximately 2.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, October 4th. So, don't get scared when you hear that damn <laughs> whatever it's going to do, you know what I'm saying? But, but what are they testing this for? You see what I'm saying? Hey, y'all better wake y'all ass up. All these distractions out here, people. Uh, government shutdown would cut off WIC food program for low-income families. Did y'all hear what Biden said? Biden said that it's really going to... He went straight to the black people. He said, hey, if we have a government shutdown, it's going to really affect the low-income families, the urban areas, uh, black people. That's what he said. He actually said it out of his mouth, black people. You feel me? Um, that's why people need to wake their ass up. So if you are getting food stamps and shit like that, and you and, and, and hopefully everybody got their shit before this shutdown is finna happen, y'all better uh move right with them damn food stamps, all right? Um, and any type of money that you get from the government and things like that, you feel me? Because this shit right here is serious. All right, this is serious, but I'm under what I don't understand is Biden acts like black people are the only ones that are on assistance. You feel me? It's not just black people, but he, but he he just had to say that shit. You feel me? This shit crazy. Among many programs to be impacted if the federal government shuts down is one which provides basic food supplies to low income mothers and children. Look Look what he says. Black community will suffer in a shutdown. This son of a bitch. He, why is it black community? As if we the only ones that get assistance. Everybody's not on WIC and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? But that's what he said. He said black community will suffer in a shutdown. See, we as a people got to wake the fuck up. We got to wake up. Don't you know this man, his bloodline has owned slaves and shit like that? That's why I never vote. I don't care who the fuck it is. Because at the end of the day, you might say, oh, I voted though. But it don't matter who you vote for. Them motherfuckers is never for us. I can say, yeah, I would rather want Trump in there. I'm still not going to vote for him to get in there. But at the end of the day, he ain't for me either. You see what I'm saying? But that's your choice. I'm not saying don't vote. I'm just saying what I don't do. All right? I don't follow that matrix shit all the goddamn time. Hell no. But anyway, what, what is he saying? He's saying the black community will suffer in the shutdown. He didn't say the white people, the white and black people that's on WIC and shit like that. Uh-uh, he said black. And he didn't say the migrants will. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why I've been bitching because of the simple fact. You mean to tell me. Motherfuckers been asking for reparations and whatnot. We need some help. But you mean to tell me they just spent $328 million on some goddamn migrants that never have even stepped a foot in America before? Most of them motherfuckers. And I... <laughs> Damn. Say less, right? Let's go here, man. Shit, this world crazy. Eight, uh, artificial intelligent brain implant comes to life. All right? Paralyzed man. Paralyzed man uses AI to control his limbs. 
I was talking about the brain implant the other day with that other video, like two days ago, and I was talking about the gas and stuff, people. Uh, and now, you know, a paralyzed man, it actually worked. A paralyzed man uses AI to control his limbs through an artificial intelligent brain implant. Oh, this shit getting real. All right? Getting real futuristic for your ass. Now, following a world-first surgery that involved implanting an artificial intelligence-powered brain implant that reads his thoughts and movement intentions and transfers them to an additional implant in his abdomen that stimulates the appropriate muscles to cause his body to move as his brain commands. A 46-year-old Swiss man who was paralyzed after falling on ice has some movement again. That's that's that. Hey, I can say that's a pro and it's a con. You hear me? Cause people that's listen. This shit just crazy, right? Okay. With just two days left for Congress to approve funding for millions of federal workers, the threat of a government looms closer. And now local businesses owners are bracing for impact. So now local businesses are also getting scared because they don't know if it's really gonna be a shutdown. You know what I'm saying? Now, Elon Musk has he has visited. The United States-Mexico border, where he claimed the level of illegal migration was causing cities such as New York to buckle. Inserting himself directly into the controversy over the scale of immigration in the United States, an issue that was that has left President Biden on the back foot, Mr. Musk on Thursday visited Eagle Pass, Texas, where thousands of migrants have crossed in recent days. The billionaire streamed his visit live. Now, uh, and insisted that he was pro-immigrant. Now, I seen something where he was telling them that they need to go back, that that's what his his thing was saying, that they need to go back where they came from, you know what I'm saying, type shit. But anyway, let's go here. I don't know what makes him so great to go over there and, you know, whatever. So about them jobs again, people in this ar 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 artificial intelligence, artists versus artificial intelligence. Chinese artists boycott social media site over AI image generation tool. They're going to be taking uh, humans' jobs. There's going to be no need for certain people, for certain for certain uh, careers and everything. Now, artists in China are boycotting the country's major social media platform over the use of its AI image generation tool. The controversy erupted after one artist claimed that the social media site trained its AI tool using her artwork without her permission or knowledge. You know what I'm saying? It's just like uh, the rappers... You don't know if that's the real rapper or not because AI technology, you know what I'm saying, it can actually sound just like that motherfucker. You feel me? So eight more buses of migrants arriving in Chicago, the most ever in one day. This was yesterday. Eight more buses had came. And they said this is the most ever in one day that Chicago has had. Oh, shit. All right. So this shit's crazy, people. Uh, it's just a little something, something, so people, uh, we, we, we as black people gotta really get it together. I know we hear this all the time, but if, if you are listening and you are worried about your children's future or just your future, then you need to start acting on stuff now. You know what I'm saying? And that's about it. That's all I gotta say. I'm Rose Gold. I'm out. Message.